Hello, good morning students. I hope you all are fine and safe. Before starting the third lesson, let's quickly recap the first part which we have learnt in previous session. Page number 6, 1.3 Autobiography of the Great Indian Bustard This lesson is based on the autobiography of the Great Indian Bustard. And author of this lesson is Dr. Pramod Patil. In the first passage, the great Indian bustard has introduced himself and tells about his physical characteristics. That he can weigh up 18 kilos and stand up to 4 feet. He has white neck, brown wings and tall yellow legs and black cap on his head. He further says about the difference between male and female bustard. Female bustard is smaller and slimmer than male bustard. <coughs> Great Indian bustard has 30 different names in various Indian languages. In Marathi, it is known as Maldok or Hum. In the second paragraph, he talks about their habitat that he lives on grasslands and deserts. His friends are chinkara, blackbuck and larks. He eats snakes, lizards, small fruits, berries and all types of insects. But among all this, his favorite foods are grasshoppers and beetles. In the third paragraph, the great Indian bustard tells about that how he enjoys the dance by producing a resonating sound. He enjoys the dance with puffed feathers and cocked up tail and drop down wings which helps him to impress his soulmate. Now students, let's start the remaining part of the lesson. You know that we birds lay eggs and our young ones hatch out of eggs. Mother GIB, GIB means Great Indian Bustard, lays just one egg directly on the ground. We don't believe in building nests, but we have a special trick to protect our eggs from predators. Predators means animals that hunt, kill and eat other animals. The egg looks like a stone. Monitor lizards, foxes, dogs, pigs, snakes and eagles are enemies of my egg and chick. But my wife protects the egg from all of them. Now, the great Indian bustard don't build nests. Unlike the other birds, they do not hatch at once. He says that mother bustard lays just one egg at a time, not like the other birds. He further says that they protect their eggs by a special trick. And the special trick is the egg that they lay it looks like a stone. So, monitor lizards, foxes, dogs, pigs, snakes, and eagles these are their enemies and mother bustard protects the egg from all their enemies so these enemies they don't easily recognize their eggs because it looks like a stone they are easily ignored by the predators so these predators these enemies they ignore the eggs because it looks like a stone Students, can you identify that who is there in the picture? Yes, it's monitor lizard. Monitor lizards are large lizards and they have long necks, powerful tails and claws. A claws means a curved pointed nails and well developed limbs. So, this is one of the enemy of great Indian bustard. 
other enemies like foxes dogs pigs snakes and eagles you all must have seen in the pictures let's see further by the time our young one hatches out of the egg rains arrive there is plenty of grass swarming with insects fresh food for my family plenty means a large quantity swarming means in a large numbers the group of insects so when the young one hatches out of the egg rains arrive so they get fr fresh food for their family that is grass and insects which is easily available in a large quantity during rainy season young ones of other birds soon fly away from the nest but a great indian bustard mother and chick stay together for nearly one year the chick learns many good habits from the mother as we all know that young ones of the other birds they don't stay together with their mother they fly away from the nest after some weeks or months but great indian bustard mother and chick stay together for almost one year as they spend more time together the chick learns many good habits many good things from he, from the mother in this paragraph the great indian bustard has introduced dr salim ali you may have heard about a great human friend of ours dr salim ali he had even suggested that we should be given the status of the national bird of our country but the honor went to a beautiful relative the peacock before explaining i would like to give a brief introduction of dr salim ali Dr Salim Ali was born on 12th November 1896. He died on 20 June 1987. He was an Indian ornithologist and naturalist. Ornithologist means a person who studies about birds. He is also known as Birdman of India. Dr Salim Ali was the first Indian to conduct bird surveys across India. he has written several books on birds he had even suggested dr salim ali had even suggested that we the great indian bustard should be given the status of the national bird of our country but the honor went to our beautiful relative the peacock i am happy to tell you that i am the state bird of rajasthan now dr salim ali he had suggested that the status of the national bird should be given to the beautiful uh, great indian bustard but as we all know that who is our national bird our national bird is peacock so this honor went to beautiful peacock but the great indian bustard he is happy why because he is known as the state bird of rajasthan we have got 10 sanctuaries for our protection but sadly our number is still going down sanctuaries means a place where birds are kept and protected now the great indian bustard is telling that they have got 10 sanctuaries for their protection but their <coughs> number is decreasing day by day and therefore in order to conserve them Ten centuries have been built up till now. Great Indian bustard further says that we used to live in all parts of India, but slowly the growing population of men pushed us away from more than ninety percent of our home regions. Now, so the great Indian bustard is very sad to tell all this that they usually lived. all over india earlier they were found in many parts of india but due to man made activities like hunting their population has decreased up to 90% and they have lost their homes 
we are afraid of hunters that kill us for fun we also die due to electric power lines that we can't see while flying we are losing our homes today only the last 200 of us are left in the world we need your support and love in order to survive can you help us now they are afraid and scared of hunters who kills them for fun they also die due to electric power lines that sometimes while flying they don't see it the electric power lines and they die they are losing their homes now only last 200 great indian bustard are left in the world so it's really sad he is asking for support and help from us students let's see the last passage of this lesson you can write letters to your leaders and make an appeal to us you can make an my drawing and submit it to your teacher you can discuss this with your parents come to see us at a sanctuary because now you will not see us in other places and who knows if humans don't help us none of us will be left on the earth you will only see us in pictures so now great indian bustard suggest us that we can write letters to our leaders and request them to help great indian bustard now he is appealing requesting that we should help him to conserve their population so that they don't die or extinct like dinosaur extinct means to destroy it or lost completely now students there are many birds and animals they have gone extinct so great indian bustard tells that if you won't help us then you will never see us and you will only see us in pictures like other birds those who have gone extinct so for that we should help them by appealing by requesting to the leader and talk to the talk to our parents or teachers about this great indian bustard and we can also make posters or drawings to create awareness and most of it we should not spoil our environment so that these birds natural habitat won't be destroyed see students all the living beings are important humans while looking at their own needs they have forgotten that nature is also our responsibility we need to do something that nature balance remains fixed okay children i hope you all have understood the story of great indian bustard so students please read this lesson 2 to 3 times thank you